that would have the emotions like to come home and, and put that kind of performance together. Yeah, it felt good. You know, I can't lie. It felt good. There was a lot of people here that hadn't watched me play since high school, so watched me growing up. So you know, there's probably two, three hundred people here. So it, I mean, it felt good. Coach talked about like homecomings don't always go that way for guys, and you kind of indicate like you were poised. And I was like, what was the key for you the last couple of days to not make this too big and play outside of yourself? Uh, I think I, I tried to limit uh, how much I was on my, my phone, you know, on social media. I was getting a lot of notifications about people kind of hyping it up and trying to make it more. So, you know, I just tried to stay off some of that stuff and, you know, just, just focus on the team. You know, focus on the team, focus on getting the win and just kind of keeping that mindset of it's another game and we just got to go out and win. Have you played in the state of Wisconsin at all, in Southern Illinois or not? No, this is my first time since high school. My last game was here. A full circle is that for you, right? Yeah, it's cool. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a fun moment, fun moment for my family, fun moment for all my my friends. Just there was a lot of people here that really enjoyed the experience. So you finally kind of like cracked a smile at the end there. You're pretty poised all game. Uh, is that hard to keep that in? Do you do you thrive off that kind of just steadiness on the court? Yeah, you know, I think I try to be a, a level-headed guy for my teammates and myself. You know, I, I never get too high, too low throughout the game. I just try to stay even keeled the whole game. Where obviously, at the end, when we knew we won, you know, the emotions came out a little bit. When you were here last time, I assume state tournament or? Yeah, it was, it was a state championship. Yeah. So, did y'all win or lose? Then? You know, my, my senior year, we lost. My freshman year, we got the win on this court. But my senior year, we lost the championship. You kind of just building one, or yeah, definitely. You know, I didn't want to go out with an L, so you know, it feels good to get a W. So, did you like a shrug after your turnaround late in the game? Did you see that night? Uh, yeah, it was something like that. Uh, you know, sometimes when you get in that zone, the post bucket reaction just kind of happen. You know, a lot of times I look at the bench and, and do something, but yeah, I mean, it's just having fun with the guys. Really. Do you ever feel like you're just playing your driveway when you kind of do that turnaround stuff? I mean, you're so comfortable. Yeah, you know, it's something that I've worked on a lot. You know, I spent a lot of time working on, you know, if I get cut off, kind of having having an option, you know, have, always having a way out of every situation. So it's, it's stuff that I, I put in a lot of time and it just kind of comes naturally. You know? You guys, as a team, what's it mean to come in here, start off March with a win and you get a big road win? Yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's a team that you know, they were ranked really high at one point in the season, you know, so. They're, they're a good team. They're super fundamental. And for us to come in in the road and get a win and kind of get us kick started in March, we're going to make it a special month. And you know, a few games like this where you both kind of get that, that kind of production defense. When did you, you know, two weekends ago, it just it fit really well to make you do so much different Yeah. Um, you know, I think, I mean, if I pinpoint the exact time, it's the FAU game. You know, we both had, had really solid nights. Uh, but yeah, you know, our offense is just so predicated on putting people in their strengths. You know, just using our strengths, and you know, we find TJ in transition the downhill. You know, he can create, and then you know, we've just kind of learned our balance on you know when to defer to the other and when to stay in attack mode. And, you know, we both need each other to be aggressive for us to be successful in our team. You're such a tough defender, versatile defender, and you're obviously versatile. Your versatility is obviously. Huge. What was kind of your game plan to attack? Um, I mean, honestly, I think I think it's more of a mindset than it is, a, you know, a specific thing. You know, I think you play good defenders. You know, there's a lot of good defenders in the league, so you know, you just have to stay in attack and kind of never let guys off the hook. Marcus, we hear a lot from Underwood about you know we don't run a lot for Terrence, but is that booty ball stuff when you bring it down? Is that more or less you knowing I got I can call my own number here and get a bucket as well, or or is that run for you? Yeah, um, you know, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily run for me. Uh, it's run for me to create. You know, sometimes it's it's me and sometimes, a lot of times I get doubled and I kick out of it. So, you know, it really just depends what the defense gives us. Uh, tonight they were kind of staying home, just light dig. So, you know, in this scenario, then it's more for, if they don't come, then it's then it's me to try to create for myself. You say you had 200, 300 people here. Some of them are Badgers fans, I'm sure. Was it difficult to try to make them convert and cheer for their line right now? Or yeah, they were. There were a, a lot of people that put on an Illinois shirt for the first time today, and they told me that you know they loved it, loved the game, but they're never putting it on again. So, <laughs> you know, that's just, just part of growing up in Wisconsin. It seems like they would play the game or they would play the game or they would come up with some big answers. Like, what's key for you to be a those, right? Like, in a tough road environment, like, what's your mindset? Like? Yeah, uh, just staying on attack, you know, having that aggressive mindset and then just staying eating kills, you know. 
never getting too high, too low when they're on their runs, but just kind of staying true to what we do, what I do, you know, is what our team is about. Now that you're in March, do you think or talk about the fact that you can kind of define what you're, how you go out? Because, you know, this is your last ride and it's the same for a handful of guys in the locker room. Yeah, you know, it is our last ride, so, you know, we haven't talked a ton about it, but, you know, we all know that, you know, we're not going out without a fight. You know, this is our last chance to do something special for a lot of us, and, you know, we're, we're going out 10 toes down. Marcus, to dovetail off of Joey's question, it seemed like you hit a bucket and turned and pointed. Was that at a section of people you knew were, that were there? Or? Uh, you know, I had... I had people really scattered out throughout the whole building. So <laughs> anywhere I looked, I, I had somebody I knew. Okay. So you know, there. I looked around a, a couple times after buckets. You know, it's, yeah, I, I knew a lot of people here. Right. Just like kind of all around, like do a snapshot. Like obviously, like. Well, like do a snapshot of the day that you think is going to stick with you. Like, you guys want to see it's a big one, but is there anything that you'll remember about this game specifically? Um. I would say, you know, maybe maybe one of the turnarounds in front of the bench. You know, when I looked at the bench and kind of, you know, it was kind of a dagger shot. Uh, you know, stuff like that. There were a couple a couple shots that I'll definitely remember. Tough place to play against a good team, Joe. How many guys feel like you did to come in here and, and get a win? Uh, I feel like we just got stops when we needed it and um, just finished the game when, uh, when it got tough. Because they made runs, we made runs, and we just we came out on top. Being this man from Marcus to be here. Oh, it was amazing. It, uh, this him being from Wisconsin and him putting on the show for the Wisconsin people, it was just amazing how he played. I know you're not guarding him, but how tough is he to guard when he's doing what he's doing there playing blue ball? Marcus? Yeah. Oh, uh, in practice, I guard him all, every day. So it's, it's pretty hard because, like, he got great footwork. He probably, I, I think he's just practicing in his room, just like going around, like, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, he just he just got great footwork, so it's kind of tough to guard him. So yeah. There was all the emotion in the building before the game, then they go up 14-5 early. Been easy to kind of get down. What does it say on this team that you're able to respond as well as fast as you did? Uh, we knew that they was gonna make a run early, and the crowd was gonna get into it. So we just knew we had to weather the storm, and that's what we did. We just knew we had to um, just stay together and stay connected, like we always do. Like a runner, like you're coming through the left corner and you get some like, kind of awkward looking uh, runner like what's the key to doing that effectively because you do it a big time so, so. um i don't know i think i just it's like instinct so i just feel like when i um in the left corner it's just like kind of easy to drive the middle i mean yeah middle but um i don't know it's just an instinct thing when i get it in the corner so yeah you mentioned that it's constantly it seems like every time they did just how nice is that to me really the two guys that yeah, it's a high level game. So we got we got a lot of big time players on our team. So we knew that they was gonna make big time plays. And that's what they did down the stretch. They uh, threw a punch, we threw a few of them back. So we were just ready for the game and we came out with the win. Justin, how good can Terrence be defensively when he's locked in? Oh yeah, he's amazing. He um Terrence is uh, probably the toughest people that guard every day. Like in practice I was guarding him and he was guarding me, so it's just he's just a great defender. I, I nominate him for uh, Big Ten Player of the Year. I mean, Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year. Does he, during games, kind of get in the mode of, don't worry about that guy, I got him? And, and oh, yeah, kind before, of a deal? before the game start, he already um, he already locked in on this guy. He he big time film, too. So he watched film and studied the player. So when he gets the game, like, he knows what to do, what's his weaknesses, and what's his, uh, what, he does, what he does good. So he just excels at it. Is there a sign that you can tell when Marcus is feeling it? Like, does he do anything on the floor that you're like, oh, okay, he's on one? Um, I just, I mean, I don't know. Marcus just, he just, he just a great player, so I just feel like he's going to be on one every game, so I don't really know when, uh, when that answer is. Does that make you see something about him? He just kind of does his thing? Yeah, he, he a hard player to guard. Like, nobody really want to play booty, uh, guard a booty ball player the whole game. So, he, he really.